Hey lovelies, welcome back to another video on Scare Ritual, one of my favourite action-packed zombie-type survival-based games in quite some time. Wales Interactive have done it again, guys. They've come up with a roadmap post-launch, and let me tell you guys, we're in for some treats. Absolute win, dev team. Uh, let's go into this uh, and also speak about what they've already got out. So first of all, what they've already got out is we've already got some DLCs, guys, which again, they don't give you any real um, benefits in the game. They don't give you any advantages to the game itself. However, they do have customizable masks and menu backgrounds, and they've got a few of those out already, including the Siren Songs, the Sacrifice, Smuggler's Fortune, and the Drakes and the Goon Baron uh, uh, mi Miracles as well, masks. So what's happening in this roadmap? Let me tell you they have got quite a few bits coming up and most of it for free which is absolute madness so i love this so much the post-launch roadmap looks like this guys they got four new dlcs coming out four new cosmetic dlcs so again not a requirement to buy them however considering not trying to find anything else hey if you want to support the dev team go for it by the way guys i'm not affiliated with them at all i'm just a real big fan of this series um also make sure you check out their discord you can get in there and actually Oh, popping suggestions this is what they do to actually listen to the community which again is what a massive achievement um, for the gaming world to be able to listen to the community and actually make suggestions make changes based on what you like um, coming up in May they've got a lot of quality life fixes including uh, weapon FOV sliders and also the PS5 120 uh, FOV as well and a lot of optimization along the way and then June is where it gets interesting. Bear in mind, we're only a month away from that right now, guys. We've got new standard weapons coming. Now, in the game itself, they've got a lot of standard weapons you can get from Lucky, your sort of mystery box type dog. Um, there's not a ton of them. There's not a ton. Uh, so brand new standard weapons is actually really nice to experiment with that. Using the supercharger on those, we can see what sort of power we can get those up to. Then July, we've got the first free DLC map. It's called House of the Damned, which just sounds amazing already. A brand new special weapon, new perks, uh, a new hardcore Easter egg, and Easter egg music as well. Uh, August, again, we've got some more, um, more quality of life improvements. September, again, we've got new standard weapons again. Now, the pictures do show three weapons. I wonder if there's going to be any more. I, I mean, hoping, let's face it, the more weapons, the better, right, to take down the quiet ones. And then October, guys, we've got the second free DLC map in this roadmap. The new map, Tides of Terror. Okay, pirates? Can't wait. Again, new special weapon, new perks again, new hardcore Easter egg, and again, new Easter egg music. Obviously, they've also got stuff ongoing as well with quality of life fixes all throughout. Again, this looks like an insane roadmap. I'm really glad to see all the communication between the devs and the fans. This is what we like. This is what makes the game grow, improves. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Wales Interactive, once again, absolutely smashing it. Cannot wait to keep playing this and discover some more secrets. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Make sure to check out my easy guides on completing the current maps already. I will see you guys in a bit. Stay strong.